I'm watching Dexter. It's pretty damn good. So you know the drill. This is a main channel vlog just put on this channel. So enjoy. Hey, it's your boy David off and welcome to another Arsenal vlog. We've won two in a row now, which is an odd feeling for this season for us. We've uh, not done it too often, but two wins in a row. That's, that's pretty good. Um, we won last week finally. We got finally got a league win last week, which is great. We won it 4 0 as well. Then Thursday night, Europa League, we got the win in, in Greece. It could have been better, to be fair. It could have been better than 1 0. It probably should have been. We missed a few easy chances. Having said that, it's still a good result away from home. Get that 1 0 in Greece. So, um, yeah, two clean sheets as well, which is an added bonus. And now we've got Everton. I reckon this will be the toughest game of the week, um, for sure. I, I might be wrong, to be fair. I might be wrong because we have a good record against Everton. I get to that in a second, but like. I think they've definitely improved uh, recently under Ancelotti and they look harder to beat. And I just hope we just get over the lines today. Um, I think this will be a tougher game than uh, the previous two. So we'll see. Um, I'm just hoping for a win, really. I just want the three points. Anyway, we'll do 1 0 or 3 0 or 4 4 3. I don't care. I just want the three points. There's a record for, like, I think it's English football in general, not just Premier League, but like the record for most wins against, against a single team. It's either Arsenal v Everton or United v Everton. These two teams have beaten Everton a lot of times and they like keep changing. Like it's like it's really close. I think Arsenal wins against Everton and United wins against Everton. They got more wins against Everton than any other team has got against them, any any other team. I'm not entirely sure about that stat, but there's a stat like that. The point is, we beat them a lot of times historically and even recent years as well. We beat them a lot of times, especially at home. So based on that. We should do well today, but I wouldn't be too sure. It is Arsenal after all. There's a worst season in a while, so we'll see. This is my, as far as I know, unless I've counted wrong, this is my 199th Arsenal game. 200 soon. I think this includes an under 23 game though, and a Legends game. Both at the Emirates, and I counted them. Don't know if they actually count, but for me they count. Okay, so shut up. But still, I've been to that many Arsenal games. Um, my 200th at the moment is Norwich on April 4th. A bit underwhelming, to be honest. Um, so I'm kind of hoping we get a good draw. Like if we go through, if we go through in uh, the Europa League and the FA Cup, the next round is before the Norwich game. So um, if we get a good draw, you, you never know. You never know. I don't know why I'm so bored about that anyway. I'm not really like I, I just like going to games anyway. So yeah, I'm gonna be on my way now. There's still like two hours to kick off, but I'm gonna get something to eat and then get over to the Emirates. I tend to go early anyway. So let's do this. And it's the weather's better this time. Last last week it was pouring in the Newcastle game this time it's probably still cold but the sun's out which is nice you know it's, it's a nice change Mr. Train brilliant great start <laughs> I'm milking at this point but there's my name at the Emirates Elite. And here is my view. Random selection. There's Leno. You, next time, not too you bad.
so that was eventful. We won 3-2. That's a good win for us. They scored first really early. I looked at the board, the scoreboard, it said 52 seconds in and they were celebrating already. Like they already scored the first goal in the first minute. I thought, oh dear, it's going to go so wrong. Like that's a very poor start. Terrible defending. I don't know what, what the defence was doing for that goal, but just terrible. And for like the next 20 minutes or so, we looked sloppy. We just looked really sloppy. Yeah, the ball away quite a lot. Um, didn't look like, we didn't wake up. We didn't like look awake ready for the game um, but they were ready they attacked us and they could have scored a second even maybe more than that uh, luckily for us they missed though they will be especially had two chances coming back to MS obviously he blazed them both over so we were let off a little bit to be fair they wasted their chances but eventually uh, Kolesna Natch was having a poor game he got injured he had to get taken off for Saka Saka's been a star player this year obviously only 18 years old he's been very really impressive and not long after he came on he got an assist a great cross from the side and Eddie Nketiah scored. He finished. Great finish as well. Fantastic finish. And that's great for him because he looked... He struggled last week. Last week in Newcastle. He had a few chances. He fumbled them. And it's good that he got a goal this time. Great finish as well. And as I said, obviously, Saka got another assist. He's impressing so much this season. Again, he's only 18 years old and he's already shining. I heard his contract is up in, like, end of next season. So we need to sign him up to a new contract ASAP because... He's clearly got a good future here if he can stay here. We've got to keep him, I think, because like he's versatile. He can play on the wing. He can play left back. He's good defensively and going forward. We need we need to keep him. And then a few minutes later, I don't know how long after it was, but Bamming was through on goal. David Luiz Ball, I think, played him in. And he finished it into the far corner. It reminded me of a Terry Henry finish. I remember Terry Henry scoring goals like that constantly. If you're an Arsenal fan, you know what I mean. You know exactly what I mean. That typical finish of Terry Henry, through on goal, coming in from the left, slotting it low past the keeper into the far corner. Aubameyang scored that sort of goal today and I was like, when I saw the replay I was just like, that, that's familiar. That, that looks very familiar. That's a Fimmins have a finish and it was right in the bottom corner as well, right, like right in the sweet spot, like right in the far corner. So smooth, so smooth. So then we went 2-1 up and then we conceded. Um, I don't know what happened to be honest. Again, poor defending. I don't know what Leno was doing to be honest. He redeemed himself later but at the time I was just like, wait, how could you not block that? I don't know what the defence was doing. Uh, people were calling for a foul as well. I didn't, I, I don't really know about that. But when they took the corner, it looked like it wasn't in the quadrant. That's the main issue of that goal, to be honest, for me. But they crossed it in and we cleared it. And then one of the players shot and he miskicked it and it flew into the air. Then it comes down and next thing you know, Richard is doing a fly kick into the goal and it's gone past the line. It was such a weird goal to concede, to be honest. I don't know how we... Like, both goals we could have avoided. Like, I, I don't know, we looked, we just looked so dodgy at the back for both of their goals. But luckily for us, that was their last goal of the game. And um, I mentioned earlier they scored within, like, 50 seconds. We scored within 30 seconds in the second half. Kick-off, 30 seconds later, Pepe's down the wing, he crosses it in. Aubameyang, brave header into the corner. And that turned out to be the winner. I tell you what, though, that last half an hour of the game was so nerve-wracking. That was so nerve-wracking. It was tense. It was all Everton in terms of the chances. We had like two or three chances maybe. And the catcher hit the bar as well. To be fair, we were close to scoring. But it was mostly Everton. And they were after us. They were constantly going forward trying to get that equaliser. And it was just half an hour of constant just trying to defend. And we looked sloppy as well. We gave the ball away quite a lot. Uh, we looked a bit tired as well. Not an excuse, but we looked a bit tired. Gave the ball away way too much. Um, passing as well. Not good enough at times. And yeah... Just in general, just we looked really sloppy. Um, but we were, I think at some points we were really lucky because I think they hit the post once. I think like there was one time, Leno, right? Right, so I think it's Calvert Lewin. I think it was Calvert Lewin. It was either him or Andre Gomez. It was one of those two, right? They were in, two yards out, free shot at goal. Leno somehow blocks it. I don't know how he blocked it, but somehow it didn't go in. What a save. Um, there were a couple other saves as well, um, a couple shots just wide, like. I think it was Gomez who almost scored. It was like 84th minute or something, just outside the post. Another time as well, they missed kick something. It could have been an easy finish and um, it just went straight across the face of the goal. No one touched it. There was a lot of close moments like that. Like they really could have got the equaliser, but we rode our luck a little bit and we got over the line in the end and got that win, got that three points. Um, and yeah, we won three games in a week. This, when was the last time we did this, did this this season? I don't even remember, honestly. Probably at the start of the season. Um, but yeah, it feels good. It feels good. And our next two games are not Premier League. They're Europa League. Obviously, we got Olympiacos second leg. So we won, we're 1-0 up in that game. Um, we just need to 
you know, just not lose and we'll be fine. Um, that's easier said than done. But our record against them at home is actually pretty good. We have a bad record away. We actually got a win away this time. So um, hopefully we can just get the job done in there. You never know if Arsenal do. Then after that, our game is postponed for Man City. So after that, it's um, midweek against Portsmouth in the FA Cup. Um, I think our season relies on the FA Cup and Europa League. I honestly still don't believe we make top four or top five. I don't. I just don't see it. So for me, our season relies on Europa League and FA Cup. FA Cup because it's a trophy and Europa League because it's a trophy, European trophy and because if we win it, we get in the Champions League, it qual qualified into that. So um, we need to concentrate on those two competitions in my opinion. But we've got 37 points now, so there's a lot less chance of relegation. Yeah, hopefully the season from now just, you know, it goes well. It doesn't get much worse than what we were in December. This is your boy Davidoff. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and see ya.